Welcome. My name is Andrew Swaby. As always, we will play through it once and then we will break down the most challenging sections. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and let's jump right in. This is Kingdom and this is in the key of F major. So the F major scale is... Alright. Alright. Um, and this song has about five parts, I think. So we're going to go through them part by part. Alright. Um, by the way, before we jump into today's lesson, um, I was looking at the analytics and I realized that 83% of the people who are viewing are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right. Um, let's jump right into it. So for the introduction, we start with. All right. So this is what's known as a drop two voicing, and this is on G minor. All right. So. This is the G minor chord, but we're going to voice it in this inversion. And we're going to take the second note from top, all right? And we're going to put it in the bottom. So we have this, all right? And you're doing the same thing with F major. So we're going from G minor to F major, all right? So in the bass, I have F. And in the right, I have C and A, all right? So we have, all right? And now we're going to go to um, E diminished, all right? Like that, E diminished seventh. But again, we're using that drop two voicing, all right? So we're taking this, um, E and we're putting it at the bottom. All right, to D minor seventh. And for this D minor seventh, I have D in my left and A, and then in my right, I have C and F. All right, all right. And then the second time around, we're going to do, we're simply going to put that C on top. All right, so. And then same D, uh, same diminished to the D minor seven. All right. Then the verse starts B flat major, and I'm adding the second. All right. So like that. So in my left I have D, B flat, and C, and in my right I have B not B, D, F, and C, all right, like that, all right, and then the second chord is simply a C major, all right, 
your voice in it like this. In my left, I have um, E, and in my right, I have C. E, G, C. Or you can use your thumb to hold on to that C, and then in your right, you would just have E, G, and C. Alright, so again, those are. You're going to go back to that D minor seven. All right, got that, and then to a B flat major, and then to an F. All right, so again. So the numbers would be six, seven, one, and then six, four, one. All right. And then it takes us to um, this part. My eyes on the sun. So we have all right. A G F. D and for the, the chord we're landing on we have a G major um, at 2 so in my left I have B and G and in my right I have A and D All right. and then we're going to go so we have G diminished and um, again we're using a uh, shell voicing of some sorts so we have in the left we have b flat and in the right we have um g so we're going to chromatically go down from f all the way to c sharp all right all right however you can do that for it to be um super easy for your hands i understand that some people may do this differently all right but that's how i got to this all right and then that's the progression all right so we are going from two um i opened this up just a bit so in my left if you can make the stretch I have G, D, and then all the way up to B flat. All right. So this is going to be my G minor. So then I have. All right. And then in my right, I'm just uh, twanging up to that G from F. But you can just do the shell voicing. So I have in my right. D and B flat if you want to do the inner voicing you can do that right or just do that but I did and then back to the F so two one and then diminished all right so um, this is just a D flat diminished seventh going to the D minor seventh that we did earlier all right so we have uh, uh, all right so mine is the kingdom the power of the mm -mm -mm -mm. So, all right this is where things change a bit so we go from two then we are going to three all right on the three though, we have um, the one, but we're going to voice it this way. So this is F major and we're adding two. Um, so in my left, I have A, F, and G. And then in my right, I have C, F, G, and C again. All right, so we're voicing it like that. 
and then we are going to do that D flat diminished or C sharp diminished again back to um, D minor 7 and then this is a G9 um, and we're adding the 13 so um, how did we get the 13 no this is how if you have G the G major scale 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then you have 9 10 11 12 13 so the 13 becomes that E all right so you realize that 13 note is right there see that yep so and then to the five amen on the three we're going to use a seventh and we're sharpening the knife so it's voiced like this a e g and in my right i'm going to have c sharp or d flat if you may um f g and then c again in the top and then to d minor seven all right we'll be singing all right so again like that so when 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 they're doing the turnaround they're going to use this chord um some people would look at this as a flat five right but it's simply the two which is g major but it's g major add two all right before um going to this uh e flat major nine sharp five all right or you can look at it as G major augmented all right with with the seventh note if you're looking at it from G major all right um, but in the context of F it would be um, E flat major ninth sharp five then you drop here and then um, all right and then that is repeated the verse is pretty much the same so let's let's take it to the next part if you ever wondered so simple We're going from the, the minor six which is D minor seven all right and then you're going to do that F major add second again and then one and then to the four all right so it sounds like if you ever And then the next part is um, he's coming, right? So it's that it's just if you look at it, right, so <clears throat> all right, so that you can look at that as a D minor. So D minor like that. We're going to move from
so that is um, if you've ever wondered and then into he's coming he's coming then after that we have um, this part So we have going from the C major at two, voiced like this, E in the left, and C and D. And then in my right, I have a G octave with C, all right? So we have G, C, G. So like this, all right? And then we're going to the one. If you realize how I'm voicing it with this A on top. All right. Like that. And then um, the, the octaves are. All right. So we have. Um, and then. So I'm starting on D, right? Like that. So I'm all right. So to this F seventh sus four. So this is the sus four. This is the seventh. All right. Or if you want, you can look at it as just. Um, adding adding an E flat major chord over an F alright alright so we have part we have so So that's that's a, an easy way to do it. So we go from the sixth to the seventh, then to this is a C minor seven. If you look at it, it's C, and then you're adding um, the inversion for E for E flat, and then you're simply going to go down to an F nine, then to the four, then on the third for the turnaround. You are going to go to um, A, A7, sharp 9, sharp 5. Alright, so A7, sharp 9, sharp 5. Or some people may look at it and call it a diatone. Alright. So from for, for this, we have in the left A and C sharp. And then in my right, I have G, C, F. Alright, to go to the 6. So... to do is I am going to keep the track running for I don't know about five minutes and then you guys can practice with the track without having to um, download anything all right um, let me know in the comments if that's okay if you like that idea um, to just keep the, the practice track running in the background for about five minutes after the video all right, so each time I do a, a video like this with like a click track that I created, I'll just leave it so that you guys can practice with it on the same video instead of like going somewhere else. 
um, remember the goal is not to be the best in a day the goal is to become better every time you play so hey if you like that one check out the next one and don't forget hit that subscribe button and let's be better together